Be careful with first impressions, how someone looks or how quiet they are. They might look and act as though they're stupid, so don't judge people by their outward appearance. Hello, this is Father Kubicki, and I began today's reflection with that warning because today's saint was a large man who was very quiet and was nicknamed the dumb ox by his peers. His teacher, known today as St. Albert the Great, predicted that the sound of this dumb ox would be heard all over the world. And so it has. For the saint we honor today is perhaps the greatest theologian of all time, Thomas Aquinas. He was very devoted to the Holy Eucharist and was asked by the Pope of his time to compose hymns and prayers for a new feast in honor of the body and blood of the Lord. We still sing those hymns today, especially in holy hours and benediction, Tantu Mergo, O Salutaris Hostia, and Pange Lingua. I'd like to share with you today a prayer of his entitled, For All Good Things. Loving God, who sees in us nothing that you have not given yourself, make my body healthy and agile, my mind sharp and clear, my heart joyful and contented, my soul faithful and loving, and surround me with the company of people and angels who share my devotion to you. Above all, let me live in your presence, for with you all fear is banished and there is only harmony and peace. Let every day combine the beauty of spring, the brightness of summer, the abundance of autumn, and the repose of winter. And at the end of my life on earth, Grant that I may come to see and to know you in the fullness of your glory. Amen.